Hey everyone, this is Ken over here at Dark Archer Customs again, and I had a little request to show how I tie in a peep on my strings. I do a little bit of a kind of a hybrid between a couple different versions of it. I've never lately I haven't really tied above and below the peep a whole lot, as it seems like that'll twist the peep in the string after I get it all centered up and lined up, and then I tie it above and below, and then it starts twisting it, and then some of the other versions where they do a lot of half hitches kind of down one side of the split and then on the other side of the split are very nice but they're also kind of a pain to have to get off if you need to adjust anything later so i've kind of got this little hybrid version that i've had really good luck with and it holds it really well there are some stipulations get some of the really skinny peeps like a g5 meta peep and a couple others and this this method will kind of end up twisting them to where they're almost perpendicular and so the angle gets screwed up and also unlike some of the bigger longer barrel peeps like the hamsky versa peeps and that they don't work it doesn't work quite as well as that but if you're pretty much most of us using a standard peep from like the rad peeps and some of those they this works really well and it, it's it's definitely helped for me over the years if you if it moves you're probably either damaging a string or something else so i'm going to go ahead and turn this over to the bow and kind of show you how that works okay here we are at the bow and i just put this string on my carbon spider and haven't tied the peep in yet, so this will be a perfect example for it. For this, I like using the BCY knock point material, ironically enough. It's very good, it's super abrasive, <clears throat> easy to use, it's cheap, and it also comes with a little bit of a, it has a nice stretch to it, so when you are tying knots, it really helps it set in there nice and tight, and then it also melts really well to make sure that knot is locked in at the end there so we're going to take some of that i usually do about 18 inches of it to give myself plenty of uh, hand hold there so first thing that we do here is we take it and you can kind of pick either side of your split here we got the two sides on each side of the peep there in this application, I always tie it closest to me because it's easier to manage. So you can go above or below the peep. Just go and I put a single overhand knot on it first. And then just make sure that my ends are even, so at least close enough to it so it's not skiwampus. Tighten that up a little bit and then I'll grab it and that's always, always have a measurement. I always measure my peep height from the top of my D loop. So now I know where it's at if something moves there. So I get that and I pull it and I kind of pull the peep away a little bit and I just slide that first overhand underneath the peep in between the peep and the string there. <clears throat> and then all I do is come over the top with the one underneath with the other leg. And then once under here, I do a quick double overhand knot. So just go through your loop twice there. And I'll tighten that up good and snug and that double overhand helps hold that knot. And then what I do is I take each leg. So I'll take the first leg here on the back and I'll go above the peak. This seems to work the best first. Go above the peak with just a little half hitch basically. And then I take it and then pull it to also be underneath of the peep, in between the peep and the string. Take the same strand, go to the bottom of the peep, do just an overhand, just do a quick uh, overhand there. And pull that underneath the peep. And then I'll come to the other side, do the same thing. A little half hitch. Pull it under there, give it a little pull. Go underneath the peep, slip it under there, 
And now you take your two ends and you come over the top and now you do a square knot basically. But once again, on this first one, I'm going to go th through once and twice on the first go. And then you cinch that down. And then you make sure you take the same loop that you're going over with to get your square knot. You got to go over with the same one both directions. And then just do a single overhand. And then you tighten that down. And take a nice razor blade, is always one of the better things you use. And you just cut your tails off to where you have about a sixteenth of an inch. And then just take a lighter. Melt and start cut. melting it. Can make sure it's not too close. <clears throat> Push that down in there. And I have peep the super solid and it's easy to remove because you don't have a whole lot of stuff tied onto the actual string with anything major. So you can just take a razor blade and remove it and you can just kind of cut that knot off right on the top. You're away from the string so you're not worried about nicking your string if you need to move something later on. And makes it safe for everyone because man it sure can be finicky trying to remove peeps that are tied in with all these little knots all the way along the string because you just you know you're just waiting to cut it so so that's how I do that if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to let me know good luck out there and we'll see you next time